a very big head. I think that I have a very round head. So this should be should be interesting. Ugh. I'm gonna put this all the way back. Look, look at that. I have a huge forehead. I have a really round head. Funny story, when I was a baby, my mom actually used to call me a basketball head because of how round my head and my face was. And, well, I can tell you some things never change. Sorry, the lighting is not ideal. It's been raining and humid and stormy here in the city, so the lighting and everything else outside has been really off. I really like to film in front of a window in front of natural light, but obviously it's not gonna happen. So this is the best I could do. We're here in front of my mirror. So we're going to work with what we got. So let's just see how this goes. There's a karaoke band on the Hi friends, so for today's video, I actually decided to ask my dog Winnie for her choices on what makeup I should wear today, what she wanted to see me wear. So I filmed a couple videos whenever we actually did have sunlight and then now all of that has just left. It's like non-existent. My skin is nice and washed and moisturized. I had her pick my primer. This one? Okay. We're going in with the Maybelline Baby Skin. I haven't used baby skin in forever. So that's why it's like still full tube. I didn't really like it whenever I first tried it. Next up, I had her choose my BB cream because you all know that I do not wear foundation. So BB cream is the next best bet. Pick my BB cream. This one? Oh no, this one. Okay. She chose the Maybelline Dream BB Pure. And I am in the shade 110 Light Medium. going to do these lovely luscious eyebrows. Pick how I do my eyebrow. Winnie. <laughs> this one? And then she chose my handy dandy elf pencil. Now this eyebrow, it's a little bit harder to do because <sighs> I think it was on my first day of kindergarten. We lived in apartments in Texas and I fell down a flight of concrete stairs. And the only thing that stopped me from continuously falling down was a, like, a, a rail. So that rail ended up catching my face and so it ended up leaving me a scar perfectly on my tail which you can kind of see there i mean i tried my best to cover it up but like that's where my hair has just stopped growing and then my mom said that i still went to kindergarten with the bloody and bruised up face so that's always fun that's a fun story to tell the kids one day and then next we have concealer Okay, Winnie, pick my concealer. This one? Okay. So Winnie chose, surprise, surprise, another Maybelline. It's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. That is a mouthful. This concealer, whenever I first tried it, I really did not like it. I wanted to because everybody was raving about it. But as I've told you all in the past, 
I have had really bad and really dark under eye circles and I mean they're not perfect now but I mean they're they're a lot better but I really looked to this concealer because like I said everybody spoke so many good things about it so I really wanted to love it and once I finally tried it it was like to me it wasn't really worth the hype I don't know if it's supposed to get a different shade or what, but I feel like this one, I got it in the shade 150 Neutralizer, and like, it just, it's a nice concealer, but it just did not do what I wanted it to. out of the coca-cola x morphe palette i love coca-cola like if anybody asks you what my favorite drink is true story Pick. that one red so you picked always bright and refreshing Let's use a blending brush because the first color she chose was really dark. I'm actually like honestly afraid to use it. So let's just see how it goes. choose what eyeliner I would be using. Pick my eyeliner. Purple. She chose the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Coolest Chic, but it's just like a really nice purple color. And if you saw my Instagram like a few days ago, then I was wearing the exact same pencil. <music> up when you being chose my mascara pick my mascaras oh, you like this one okay so I'm starting to think that Winnie Bean is a real Maybelline girl true at heart I mean she chooses all of the Maybelline products but for mascara she chose the Maybelline lash sensational mascara I'm filming this on Wednesday, July 9th. So yesterday on the 8th, it was Winnie's 11 month birthday. Oh my gosh, I do not want my puppy to turn a year old. Like, I feel like we just got her yesterday. But the first day that we brought her home, she was four months already. And she was so tiny. She was just this, this little bitty thing with like a bobble head and like her harness didn't even fit her. It was so big. And then like about a month or two ago, she actually grew 
out of that harness and the harness was a size small and we ordered her a new one and we had to order it in a large. It was just so hard to see your little, your little baby grow up because Margo, she's already three years old and I'm telling you that girl has not grown since she was probably like a year. She's just gotten fluffier. So for blush, of course, I had to get Winnie's opinion. Pick. This one? Okay. She picked us. If you have been following me on social media, then you know that Dusk is like my go-to everyday color. And with this whole eye look, I'm really glad she chose something neutral. She chose something like Beam. It would have been way too light and way too bright. Last but not least, I had Winnie choose my lipstick, my lip gloss, whatever I was gonna put on my lips. Pick my lipstick. <laughs> okay. okay, this one? Okay. My friend from high school actually owns and operates her own business. It's called Pink Milk. I promise you this is not an ad. I did order a pair of sunglasses. I ordered a couple of things from there. And then as a free little gift, she sent me a few lip glosses and I tried both of them on that night and I'm like, these are really great. These are very neutral and I can wear them all the time. But since I don't go anywhere, I'm like, why would I waste really good lip gloss just to sit my butt on the couch? So see, there's not like a big difference, but you can see it from my top and bottom lip. So let's take this off. My hair is a little crazy, so I need to go and do that, but this is the final look. Now, I was a little scared with the eyeshadows, with the colors and everything. That was very scary because they were so vibrant and they were so dark, and I was really afraid that they would clash with each other, but they actually came out looking really nice. I mean, like I told you before, the power of blending brushes is like, whoa. I absolutely love blending brushes. That is the look for tonight. So now I'm going to head off to dinner with Javi and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends. So I definitely don't think that Winnie did a terrible job at picking out my makeup. I mean, I would say the girl definitely knows what she's doing. I just gotta trust the process.